Good morning, Hazardville. Chad Armstead here, live from TBN Station. We've got some news stories here for you today, so let's get started. Hi, I'm Sonny West here in Hazardville Park, and today we have a cat stuck in the tree. Mayor of Hazardville, Hazel Correa was incarcerated after stealing drugs from the evidence locker, wire fraud, vehicular manslaughter, and tax evasion. More wary here. The brand new North Pole ice cream opened up today and burnt down only hours later. Possible ties to the Stone Cold Qatari family are being investigated. Hold your horses because it's time for Hasville's annual horse kicking festival being held at the Hasville Town Square on May 5th from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Hazardville's new treasurer was born into power this morning. He begins working today. The son of a Hazardville man has spent $10,000 on the former Mario Career's bail. More on that later. This just in, a fireman is stuck in the tree trying to rescue the cat. Breaking news. The body of an unidentified male has been discovered in the old Hazardville tunnels. We turn now to our on-field reporter, Sonny West, for more. Okay, this is it. People from all over the nation are going to be tuning in. No more reporting on animals stuck in trees. This is the big leagues now. How long do I have to rehearse? We're live in two. Two? Minutes, minutes, sorry. Oh, come on, man. Don't scare me like that. Uh, okay. Yes, sir, Mr. Armstead. Sorry, I meant seconds. What? And here we are, Sonny. Why don't you tell us what you see? Uh, hi, Chad. Yes, uh, I'm here at the tunnels, the Hazardville tunnels, where a man, uh, a, a, a local man, has discovered a body, an unidentified body. Yes, as uh, I've already established, why don't you take us uh, to the witness? I'm here with the man who discovered the body, Herman Mudgett. Mr. Mudgett, why don't you walk us through what you saw? Yeah, so I, I was coming home, right? Home and being in these tunnels. And I saw, like, a man, he was walking in. And I know that that is the lair of Yaldabaoth, the fowl. And I know there's no way that any man would want to mess with Yaldabaoth, the fowl, all right? Not since uh, Mudgett the gluttonous. No relation. Uh, Mr. Mudgett. Uh, what, what do you want, man? I'm telling you about the body. The body was in there. It, he was gone, all right? He must have awakened something devious in those tunnels, something prideful. Because there is no way that a body could ever, ever get like that. Uh, and you know, like, that, that isn't even the first time that there's been a man in there. Like, th have you ever heard of a Hannibal the Cannibal? Because he comes in here and he like kind of takes care of some of the bodies. And uh, yeah, he's fine. Like him and I are on speaking terms. Uh, I haven't tasted like uh, too much of too many of his meals. Uh, it's it's all it's all good there. Uh, Mr. Mudge, can you be a little more specific of what you saw in the tunnels? I was just telling you about it. See, that's the problem with you kids these days. Y'all don't listen. Y'all don't listen to your to your elders. To people who will be more respectful. All right. Do you want me to release a foul plague upon all of Hazardville? Do you want me to awaken the beast that lies within these tunnels? Is that what you would like, Sonny? Can you just be? A, can you just repeat that one more time? Just be a little more specific about what you exactly saw in the tunnels. No. All right. Thank you, Sonny, but uh, I think we'll be ending this segment a little early. Wait, hold on, that's not the end of the story. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, that was our new reporter, still getting the hang of the uh, ropes. In the meantime, goblins here in Hazardville, more likely than you think. Can I go home now? Get out of here, warlock. Go, 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 get out of here.
I guess that's a wrap. Listen, it went rough. It happens. You just wait though. Next time, there's gonna be a big report. I know you're gonna do great. There isn't gonna be another time. There's not gonna be another report. Hey, I know it'll cheer you up. Some ice cream. Why don't we go try the new North Pole place? The one that burnt down? You're right, sorry. It's over. They're not even gonna let me report on cats and trees anymore. You don't know that. Talk to Chad, he was a reporter too. He might even let you do the report when the killer gets caught. Yeah, I could report on the killer being caught. That's totally a thing I can do. See, that's the spirit. Yeah, and you know what would make it even better? If I'm the one who catches them. Yeah, oh, uh, I don't, what? Just imagine the headlines, redeemed reporter catches Hazardville killer. I'll be famous. I just don't know that going after a killer is the smartest move. That sounds like how he died. Oh, come on, man, you're just being paranoid. <laughs> wait. Sonny, wait. We shouldn't be here. What if the police are here? What am I going to tell my mom? Does it sound like there's any cops here? Come on. What do you mean? The cops wouldn't just leave a body there. Hey! Whoa, whoa, what's going on here, boys? Sorry, officer. Uh, I'm Sonny Western TVN. Right. We'd like to interview if you'd like. <laughs> well, I would say it's time for old Officer Spiegel to make his television debut. <laughs> Excellent, let's take the interview at the body. Whoa, whoa, sorry. No can do. Can't risk anyone messing around with the crime scene. Besides, we should go outside. People deserve to see this handsome face. Don't you agree? No, you're absolutely right, sir. We should go outside, right, Sonny? Hold on. Spiegel here, talk to me. No way. A W45.8 double XA? A tuba. The whole tuba. All right. Just wait for me. I'll be over there. All right. Yep. Take some pictures, too. All right. Sorry, boys. Just got an important call. No can do. We'll have to reschedule another time, so you can... Uh, you can... Uh, call here. Just call me. <laughs> right. And yes, I do think the cops will go by now. Nope, can't do it. No. Look. I'm not tripping, that's more, right? Yeah, he's another reporter at TVN. I didn't even know he died, did you? No, they have us reporting on a coworker they didn't even tell us. Why? Why wouldn't TBN tell us about this? I don't know. I do know where we can find out. No. Yes. No. Yes. I know there's something here. There has to be something here. Mort's dead. He's actually dead. This is crazy. They're having us report on our own co-worker's death? There's no way that they aren't hiding something. And now we're checking our own studio. This is crazy, man. Hey, are you even looking? Yeah, if anyone's coming, I'll let you know. Hey! Ah! What are you guys up to? What's got you guys so jumpy after hours? Overtime that rough? Yeah, they're keeping us here extra long today. Ah, I get it. Because of that report this morning, right? Yeah. Listen, Sonny, don't be hard on yourself. It happens. My first report back in 07 went just as bad, if not worse. But look at me now, TBN's premier anchorman. Hey, tell you what, I'll make some phone calls and see if I can get you another report. That would be great, sir. Thank you so much. Well, 
I better take off. You two have a good one. Wait, Chad, wait, wait. The victim that we reported on, that was Mort. Mort Wary. Did you know that that was him? All right, yes, I, I knew. And I'm sorry for keeping you in the dark. I just didn't want to tell you guys until after the report. I didn't want to add any extra stress to you or change your approach in any way. Okay, I get it. Thank you, sir. All right. Have a good night, fellas. Look at that. We know why TBN didn't tell us anything. And you got a big report to do. Look, we can call this whole thing off. Tim, come look at this. These are cover-up documents. These are all former employees of TBN. They were here way before we got here. That's about more, right? Yeah, but look at this. Tim, what did you break over there? That sounded like a gun. It was a gun? Yes! Tim, go over here. I got a plan. Stay here, stay on the phone, use this and tell me where he is using the security cameras. You're gonna leave me? He's gonna kill me! I don't think he's after you. He's coming, run! Talk to me. Where is he? I, I don't know. It looks like he's only using halls with no cameras in them. There he is! It would be hard to cover up all those deaths. You need a lot of power to keep those from getting out. The only person with like that kind of power would be a police officer. Like the one who want us nowhere near Moore's body? Officer, officer Spiegel. Spiegel. Can't believe that TBN's been covering up all these deaths. The problem being forced to keep under wraps by that cop. Yeah, I guess Spiegel does have that kind of power. What should we do with these documents? Well, we can't take them to the police. Maybe we should ask Chad. Speaking of which... Hey Chad, what's up? Hey Sonny, great news. I got you a new report. New body turned up. TVN hasn't identified it yet. It's at the abandoned Hazardville Tower. One witness. You'll be live at 9 a.m. So get there by 8. You got all that? Yep, got it. Thank you so much, sir. Have a good night. Go! Yes. You didn't tell him about the papers? Tomorrow after the report, I'll take pictures of them to send to him. Right now, this is the best shot I get in my career back. Now come on, let's make a script. There is no witness! Not yet, at least! What? There is no witness! 
And there is no body. Not yet, at least. Chad, what are you doing here? Now, I thought paying off that witness and ruining your big report Whoa, would be enough to make you quit. But no! You had to go and dig yourself even deeper. TBN is my state. Whenever a reporter starts getting a little too popular, I make sure their report goes south. But sometimes their flame is extinguished, and I need to put it out myself. Especially with you. You don't think I know you took those documents? I'm Hazardville's beloved anchorman. I'm TBN's moneymaker, and I won't let anything happen to threaten that. I'm sorry, please don't fire me! Don't shoot! I have a hamster at home! Wait, 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 wait. You pulled that trigger on either of us, I make these documents public. TBN will burn the controversy, and you won't have a new station to control. Yeah, right. You think you're gonna get any reception up here? No. But I can get it up there. Send it, I'll shoot. You shoot, I'll send it. What makes you think you'll be alive to send it? You better not miss. You think you can do this to me? I'm the beloved anchorman. The nation adores me. I'll just deny the allegations, have my lawyers sweep it under the rug. And get picked up by a different studio. And any other studio will be clawing at the chance to hire me. You think you'll be able to discredit your name being over all these cover-ups? Uh, yeah, I do. I've got that kind of power. You're not that guy, pal, but I am. Actually, I am. Drop the weapon. Slowly. Ah! Put your weapon down now. Anything you say or do will be in all that jazz. I was, what the hell? Good luck sending those files without that phone. We still have the files at Sonny's place. I didn't have the files on my phone. I was bluffing the whole time, jackass. Come on. Hello, Hazardville. I am Sonny West, your new anchorman for Hazardville's headline news. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. As of yesterday morning, former TBN anchorman Chad Armstead has been charged with 12 counts of murder. TBN station was investigated by Hazardville police and is being charged with covering up all 12 counts of murders as well as turning a blind eye to Armstead's abuse of power. Rumor has it that the best news will soon be defunct. More on the investigation tomorrow with yours truly. We'll also be bringing on cameraman Tim Meadow who helped catch Armstead and Officer Spiegel who made the arrest. But until then, good night, Hazardville.